So what does it take to make a 650 horsepower electric supercharger? In this video, I'm gonna give you the parts list and the price list. And also at the end of the video, there's a very special moment of Roger seen here licking a window where he discovers what happens when he pokes a cat. Now, I know it's been a while since I made a video. I really appreciate you all hanging in there with me. I've been extremely busy. I'm getting this house ready for sale. I'm surrounded by hundreds of boxes. The reason why my lighting looks so weird is because, well, I packed away all my lights. So we're doing this by daylight. This is called modeling, bright here, dark here, but whatever. What do I mean by a 650 horsepower capable electric supercharger? Does that mean it's gonna turn your 200 horsepower engine into a 650 horsepower engine? No, that means it will given the best combination of parts, support about 650 horsepower. But I did write down a little chart for myself here that gives you an idea of what you can expect out of this particular setup. So if you have a 200 horsepower base engine, you really don't want to go less than that because you're going to encounter surge. And at that point, you're better off with something like a torque amp anyway. But at a 200 horsepower engine, you can expect about 300 horsepower. At 300 horsepower, you can expect about 450. That 300 to 400 base horsepower range is sort of the sweet spot. At 400, you can expect about 550. And at 500, you can reasonably expect 600. And under perfect conditions, you can get to 650. If you need more than that, well, just run two or three or four. But what I think you'll find is you'll find that this is actually very price competitive, particularly with aftermarket supercharger kits, but even with low rent Chinese based turbo setups, because with a turbo setup, keep in mind, you have to include all kinds of stuff. You have to modify your exhaust. There's tons of plumbing you have to do. You need boost controllers. You need a wastegate. You need heat management. You need all kinds of stuff that you don't really have to worry about with an electric supercharger. So without further ado, let's go right to the other desk where I can do a handheld show and tell. So fundamentally, this is all you need to make some boost on your car. Let's start with the compressor. This is a Speedmaster P2 unit. It runs about $625. You can get it from Speedmaster. Sometimes it shows up on Amazon. I'm gonna put links to all this stuff in the description below where I can. Some things you have to kind of source yourself but this runs about $625. Next thing you're gonna need is a Castle 2028 800 kV motor. Uh, this runs about $280, and this is a T5 belt with uh, the current pulley ratio here is about 14 teeth on this one, and I think it's 16 or 18 teeth on the impeller shaft. I don't remember exactly. But that makes the setup tunable for your particular motor to extract the most from the compressor. This bracket, by the way, you have to make. There's various options on how to do that. I'd strongly suggest you go to the forum at electrifiedboost.com and ask questions and see what other people are doing because this does require a certain degree of mechanical competence as well as electronics knowledge. But it's not that difficult. These things do have to be fairly precisely made. This has to be flat. For example, if this thing is tilted one way or the other, you're going to be asking for trouble. But anyway, $625 P2, $280 2028 Castle motor, this is a Hobby Wing Max 4 ESC to control the castle motor. This runs about $450. This is the data logging module, but it's not necessary for this. And then you control it. The easiest way to do it is with a couple of servo testers. And when you push this button, all it does is switches from one to the other, and it goes from zero to full on. There's other ways to make controllers. I'm working on a differential map sensor based unit, which should be pretty cool if it works. We're gonna find out more about that once I get down to Texas. And then you're gonna need battery packs. So this is SMC's SRD, Speed Run Drag Series batteries. These are extremely good. They're up to V3 and in V3, you can get a 6S pack. You'd only need two of them at that point because this is a 12 SESC. So these packs will cost you about 150 or so a piece. And then, of course, you'll need cabling and switches and whatever else you want and however you want to customize your own particular installation. So overall, you could easily accomplish this whole thing, particularly, well, if the ladies don't find you handsome, but they do find you handy, you could accomplish this for about $1,500. But figure $2,000 for odds and ends like a blow-off valve, you know, extra cabling, whatever else. It's kind of tough to beat that price. I'm not going to lie, especially with something that you can just put on and off your car. Of course, you'll need some way to tune it. It's not a tuna, 
but that's the case with pretty much any forced induction system. But this is the most efficient one out there, I guarantee it. Nothing can touch this thing in terms of horsepower per PSI. So let me sum it up for all of you in one handy dandy little chart. But first, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. After all, you guys are the reason why I'm doing all this and that's the only way I can justify spending literally over $10,000 of my own money in development, blowing things up and going fast in the process, and I do love sharing what I've discovered along the way with all of you. For the basic kit, here's what you'll need. The Speedmaster P2 Supercharger, of course, Castle 2028 800 kV motor, T5 belt and pulleys, exact sizes will depend on your application, the Hobbywing Max 4 ESC. I heard from Castle that they'll be releasing their own 12S ESC soon. Of course, we'll test that when it comes out. Some servo testers, two SMC SRD V3 6S battery packs, various cables, connectors, switches, etc. This will vary based on your specific application. And now it's time to see what happened when Roger Pope Simon, in slow motion no less. This was shortly after they met for the first time. Thanks for watching and coming along with me on this journey, and I'll catch you all in Texas. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started.